Hey everyone, welcome back to the Might and Magic 6 completionist run. In this episode, the time has come once again to advance the main quest. What we're gonna do first of all is uh, we're gonna take this control cube back to the Oracle. That's the only quest uh, we have right now, the only objective. Let's Go ahead and do that. Should I cast uh, my buffs? Maybe, and eh, we'll 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 do that once we have some reason to. And while we're walking to the council building, if I can remember where it is, well, I've already forgotten. Yeah, it's in this direction. While we're walking here, we'll briefly recap what we did in the last episode. We went to the circus finally and uh, found some cool stuff items of the dragon first ones we found that i actually kept uh dagger of the dragon as well along with the spear and more importantly ring of water magic which means when it's time to reset these beacons they will all have the good duration bonus that Zoltan already has. And now we are going back into the Oracle. Our, I guess the power was off and now it's on. So we are going to walk down this trippy little corridor and uh, into this part of the map. I guess we should cast Day of Protection or, yeah, or Wizard Eye, but Day of Protection includes Wizard Eye, so that's a smarter thing to do, I think. And now let's talk to the Oracle. I've been expecting you. And the only dialogue option we have has something to do with a place called the Control Center. We click on it. And now that we have the control cube, I guess we can ask the oracle to transport us. The guardians of the control center are no longer under the oracle's control, though. So please exercise caution. I think that is our hint that maybe we need to be casting our buffs before we do anything uh, do anything crazy all right one more thing to cast and that is day of the gods now let's I guess eh, it's gonna take Serena a while to recover and uh, while we're waiting let's just save the game again let's go back to the Oracle I've been expecting you Okay, now we have to click on that to get the next stage in the quest, I suppose. The Quigan are resistant to most weapons, but not all. We need to find where their vessel crashed and destroy the main reactor. Okay, you'll need a powerful spell. The only person who would know of such a spell is Archibald. The reactor cannot be harmed by normal weapons. You'll need to... You will need the ancient weapons in the control center. Now, how do I get to the control center? Uh, thought you were supposed to take me there, Mr. Oh, okay. You. We just click on this. All right. We're entering the control center now. This is going to... Already we have a red dot on the map. And... We have what appears to be, uh... Ah, hello and welcome to the self-guided tour of the Varn Planetary Control Facility. We gladly welcome all visitors as you arrive at each area. Check our display screens for more information. So, I guess we'll, uh, keep an eye out for more of these things. Oh, unfortunately, Day of Protection does not include Torchlight, so we will be casting that and I'm just gonna be saving the game once again 
Because there are some tough enemies in here. Whoa, boy. Okay. Now we Oops. saw and Come on, dude. Stay still. We saw enemies of this type when we were in the Tomb of Varn. This is the highest tier of that enemy. And we missed him several times in a row. Despite... Like, the very high attack bonuses we have. So they are... They are no joke. One other thing that Terminator units in particular can do is they can eradicate you, uh, they can eradicate your party members, which means an instant kill. And these guys also don't leave bodies, so if we got a bounty to kill them, we'd be out of luck unless there were some already there, but I don't even know if these guys can show up as bounties. These guys are nothing. Like Low-level patrol units. So, we don't need to worry too much about those. It's the Terminator units that are, uh, that are what we really need to be keeping an eye out for. And inside here, we have ancient weapons that are blasters. Basically, we found firearms and these are indeed the ancient weapons that we've had a few references to throughout uh, throughout this game is this empty is this the one we opened I guess I guess that's just an empty chest a door Always a bit nervous whenever I'm op opening doors, just in case maybe there's a, uh, whoa boy. Just in case maybe there's a horde of enemies on the other side. But in this case we're, we're fine. These guys, of course, I'm not at all worried about fighting. Let's just... Take them down. Alright. There's something on this side as well. There are some large areas. Like large open areas. Inside this. Which make me pretty nervous. Because often. There will be a few red dots. Uh, that you will see. Based on the enemies that were active from before. And you'll think, oh, there's only a couple enemies in this room, but as soon as you set foot inside... Okay, as you can see... It's fixed. It's fixed. I mentioned earlier on that we would be... That we would be... I've repaired it. Fighting lots of enemies that are capable of breaking our things. And that is why I gave the repair skill and indeed master repair skill. Okay. Walking around. Why would you make a staircase like that with no handrails in a game like this? Where it's so hard to look around. That is a bit of a bit of a jerk move by the developers here. And once again, these guys are flying, which means uh they are very... Oops. They are easily able to get into positions where it's hard for Good as new. us to hit them, but they are always able to hit us. And why is that unfair? It's because if we try to fly, we're told we can't do that indoors, which is a stupid, stupid, stupid restriction, which never should have made it into the game. And what is this room? Okay, this is talking about how awesome blaster weapons are. That's great. We don't have... Oh, we do have it. Now that we found one blaster, we can equip these. I want to wait until we have four of them. One for each character before I start using them. Oh, boy. Okay, what's, what's going on? Oh, my God. Okay. I've repaired it. 
each minute that passes inside this facility, I feel more and more vindicated that I taught repair to all our, our characters. But every time you hear that item breaking sound, it's just... It's still... It's still annoying to have that happen. Okay. We're slowly taking people down. Not, not really people, but... Robots, I guess. Autonomous. Airborne... Uh, Military... Uh, like, things of some kind, I don't even know how to describe them, but clearly this is the security system for this area that the Oracle was telling us about. As you can see, they do a lot of damage, mainly because the thing that they are damaging us with is a type of damage that we don't have any... I don't believe we have any uh, resistances to. So that's uh, something that is gonna. Oh God! See, like, look at this garbage. Like, why would you give them the ability to fly and not us? That is just, it's just a bad, bad move. Let's cure ourselves a bunch of times. And what's going on here? Some sort of trap? Some sort of constantly firing trap? That's what it seems like. Another door. What's inside this door? Uh-oh, more of these guys. You always have to be careful whenever entering rooms. Ah, Terminator. Gotta save my game, just in case something catastrophic happens against this guy, which is entirely possible, but we're doing good damage to him when we hit, which isn't always. Uh, okay, come on. Fixed. Come on. Come on. Okay. That guy's down, but this guy, let's kill him before he can break anything else. Okay. Okay. What do we have in this room? Well, uh, there's something on the ground, maybe? But there's something in this... No, there isn't. I lied. There's nothing there, but we're being told that there's some special object. Oh, I guess that's how you open the door. Alright. What is this? Chief Engineer Wilson's personal log. Ah, okay, so the security system went crazy long before we got here. Ah. A hazardous leak on level 4, so maybe there's going to be more radiation. Oh boy. That's going to be rough. Tell Emma I love her. Yeah, I mean, sure. If we find her. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Aha. We got three ah. small pistols Aha. and a big blaster rifle. So I'm going to give the big gun to Alexis. We're going to unequip the regular weapons. I guess there's no need to start unequipping things because once you have your blaster equipped I think it is your default means of attack so yeah she's shooting out her blaster and despite the fact that she has a bow and despite the fact that she has melee weapons but this is gonna be uh, cause there's no room, there's gonna be no room to put your spear, man, so we're gonna have to have Alexis hold on to this, temporarily, and we can have one for you, and uh, one for you, okay, I mean, the way they hold on to these firearms is always a bit odd, like they just... They just hold it like that. 
Whereas with the other weapons, they're kind of holding them in a ready to strike position. It always it looks a bit goofy. But now uh Yeah, now we've got <laughs> this action going on now. The reason that you saw this weird stream effect is I think to do with how fast blasters are by default, coupled with our own speed bonuses. So we're gonna see this in effect shortly. See this in effect against enemies shortly. So, so you can just... Okay, yep, we... We got eradicated. I was trying to... I was trying to be cute. A, a little bit too cute. Maybe we should give... The blaster to you? Because it'll do a bit more damage. And... And you're, you're still... You're still getting the, uh... The crazy bonus. Okay. What is giving you in particular that speed? Hmm, it must just be a uh, speed thing, although you have a speed of 305. Zoltan has a higher speed, so does uh, Roderick. Alexis doesn't quite have 300 speed, but it can't be speed alone, surely. Alright, so, it's going to be awkward, but this is basically, basically going to be our method of combat in this place. Rather than our high damage but slow melee attacks, we'll go for the lower damage but blindingly fast ranged attacks on, uh, on our blasters, or our ancient weapons, as they are called. That is a little bit confusing, because... And now I've got to remember, we don't want to go into turn-based mode, because this endless stream of blaster fire seems to only happen in real-time mode. Okay. Okay. I'm getting my bearings. I'm slowly remembering how this works. Okay. Okay. As you can see, it's pretty quick to take enemies down like this. But I do believe that they can break your blasters. Of course, you have to be able to hit them. And right now, I don't think our... Yeah, I, our uh, shots weren't hitting him. Oh, hitting it. Yeah. That is one really finicky part about this. The same odd uh, glitches where projectiles will just randomly hit parts of the environment that they aren't even making any visible contact with. The same situation will apply. Got it. God, we're getting way more guns than we have people. I want more of the big Got ones, it. though. Yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Aha. So I'll give this one to you. And uh, I guess you can just hold on to all of the extra ones for Got now. It. Here is something interesting. Here is Here are all the memory crystals and the control cube. All of these quest items. From earlier. I guess we'll leave them there for now. Maybe they're like spares, you know, in case the old ones got lost. I don't know. We're we're not gonna mess with with those. I don't think I don't think we need to. But again, I remember a lot about this particular area, but I'm not gonna be looking up anything. 
Okay, this is an evacuation of- I'm not gonna be looking up anything until after I've done one pass through it by myself. I just hope that there isn't something, like, hidden in one of these, uh, little, you know, recesses in that wall. Alright, now where do we want to go? I think one thing I want to do is I want to check the status of my haste. S seems... Seems good. Let's just cure ourselves another couple times. And now I have to make the mental adjustment that I no longer want to instinctively go into turn-based mode. I want to stay in real-time mode because that is where my damage is gonna come. Yeah, let's see, look at that. Okay, you guys are being obnoxious. I've repaired it. Good as new. Fixed. And that is gonna be a, a running theme. Not just in this area, but instead... Oh, come on. Shoot over this garbage. Essentially in the rest of the game. Items constantly breaking and... Oh, boy, that guy is... Uh... Okay, I just need to find an angle where you are able to hit this guy. Come on. Don't be stupid. There we go. And even that... Terminator unit with nearly a thousand hit points is ultimately no match for really, really fast laser fire. Okay. I always lift up her shield because if the belt is broken, I won't know because the shield's in the way. Alright. There are more people in this room. And more things are breaking. More... They ha they trigger that effect way too often. I don't even think the gold dragons break things as often as these guys do. Okay. Took a bit of a risk uh, going out against that Terminator unit. But in the end, uh, it was fine. Okay, somebody has had something broken. Uh, these items can be broken, so... If somebody breaks Serena's blaster in the middle of her shooting, then it's all gonna come to a very quick stop. Okay. What, was, what, what is our... Okay, obtain magic from Archibald. That's a, you know, that's a quest for after we're done with this area. Okay, I wanted to just take one of those down. Now, this is a dangerous area because there are a lot of Terminator units inside. How are we going to deal with them? Well, we just need to be able to shoot like one of them at a time, just bring them down, and then... Uh... Okay, come on, let's... Come on, man. Okay. This is really obnoxious. Why? Like, come. Like, why was that? Why were our shots not hitting? What is the game? What, in the game's opinion, was between those shots and my target? Well, at least that guy went down. So, as long as we kill a couple of these at a time, then we're making some kind of progress. But the moment we step outside, there are gonna be like five or six units that are capable of eradicating us. Unless we can... I was saying, and unless we can fight them in a manageable way, like one or two at a time, it's just gonna be too obnoxious. Because, like, look at this, look at this nonsense. Okay, that's one down. Like, target the right things. Okay, I'm hedging my bets. I'm gonna move back. Because we killed a couple of those. We killed a couple of those. That one's down, that one's down, that one's down. That entire side is taken care of. Now we can turn around. Do all of this again. One down, but something is broken. It's fixed. Cloak.
you are fine, you are fine, and you are fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what? Okay, I just re I just realized right now that our shots weren't hitting, which is baffling to me because there is literally nothing in the way. Like, what is going on? What is this nonsense? Okay, I guess the game thinks this is in the way. Okay, I think her blaster is broken. No? It's fixed. Her shield is broken. Maybe the shield is what is making her lose her attack cast. So maybe we're gonna have to teach everybody the shield skill as well. Okay, this is really, really annoying. As much fun as this area is, due to the janky way the game handles uh, obstacles or how the game thinks projectiles should interact with the environment, due to that, it's occasionally very frustrating. But so far we're fine. And I think what's going on is that to get the same rate of fire that Serena has, other people are gonna have to have shields as well. At least that is the... Uh, that is the sense that I'm getting. Alright. We'll experiment with that in a subsequent video. Got it. What is this? Oh my god. It's actually kind of disturbing, all of these faces just staring at you from out of nowhere. Oh boy. This place is so trippy. I think we're technically even done with the quest because all we need is to, uh, to get the blasters because these are the special weapons that we're being told are what we need to fight the devils or to fight the Kriegen that are a race of aliens who are the enemy of the people who built this structure. Environmental controls are offline. Oh boy. That's uh... That's not uh... That's not encouraging. Like what's, what's going on in here? Right. More rooms? No doubt with enemies. Yeah, but these guys are fine. I know they might break our stuff, but that's okay. This room doesn't really seem to have anything in it. Alright, what's going on this room? Again, doesn't seem like there are any really strong enemies. Alright. But some stuff was broken, which is uh, I've repaired it. Good as new. always it's fixed. an annoyance. And you've got his spear, that's good. Alright, let's continue onwards. What's this? That door looked like it didn't go all the way to the ground, which was a little bit strange. Oh, what's what's up here? Of course there's a second level. Alright, let's see. Okay, that was a... Uh... Oh my god, this is... Yeah, some of the special abilities that enemies have been given are pretty obnoxious. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna accept that because that means Zoltan will lose out on, uh... And target the correct thing, maybe. Yeah, take that guy out. Okay. 
Because if you're eradicated, of course, you are going to be missing out on experience. And are things broken? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. And I hate how sometimes the save thing by default will have uh, the n like one slot lower highlighted. Because I don't want to accidentally save over a slot that I intended to keep. That's another thing that sometimes just gotta watch out for. All right, as long as we just kill a couple of a couple of these. It's fixed. Per pass, even if they're low-level ones, because low-level ones, if nothing else, they're providing shielding for the Terminator units. All right, now there are a whole bunch of them to the left. All right, you're going down. You're going down. You're all, you're all going down. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Think. This is a huge area. Now we can target them through the walls, which is great. But they can target us through the walls, which is not great. Let's try this again. Let's try this once again. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, what is g uh, going on? If you fall down into one of these things, you can't walk straight out, but if you jump, then you can get out. All right. All right. Let's, uh, well... What? Okay, just don't eradicate anyone, please. Get out of the way, dude. Oh, wait, I'm... Not even heading in. Yeah, it really like breaks your momentum a lot when you think you're hitting someone, but the shots are all not registering, despite the fact that they are very clearly going into the enemy. Like there's nothing visually in between the shots and the enemy, but the game has decided that they are hitting a non-existent wall. It's a little bit of a of a headache but, oh. that's another uh, thing that will give you a headache is that special ability which again triggers way too often good as new all right let's this time cast shared life and now we'll cast a power cure Again, see, it had s slot 4 highlighted instead of 3. We're running a, a bit low on spell points, but I think we're fine. Come on, man. Come on, man. So I guess we need to target you, you first. Alright. All right. So what? What's broken? I've repaired it. What else? It's fixed. This. Okay. That's fine. Got it. Ah. That means someone else can ha have a big gun. I guess that could be you. Why not? And who's in this room? Just, just you guys. Ah. Oh, more, more stuff breaking. Really? Okay. We're getting a green indicator, I but it. I don't think we've completely cleared this area. I've repaired it. Again, looking through everybody. Yeah, see, already it's yellow. Where have we not gone? A few, a few places. So, this is a dead end, it seems. Looks like it. Mm, where... Oh, let's look up. That's a, an interesting sight. The night sky. Despite the fact that uh, it's not even 6pm. 
and we're being told it's still daytime. Maybe that's like a hologram or some sort of uh, screen being projected. Okay, are these doors? Is this just nothing? It looks like that was just nothing. And there's probably going to be enemies inside. Here again, you have the wrong slot highlighted. Okay, you are. Come on. <laughs> this is so, so obnoxious. Ugh. It's fixed. Can you imagine how annoying this would be if I didn't have master repair on everyone? Can you imagine just how mind numbingly frustrating it would be if every time something broke? I had to drag it over into Serena's inventory. Just, just imagine that for a second. Okay, and as I suspected, there are more enemies. And I already see a couple places that it looks like we haven't been. So let's take care of that. Alright, then this place... Again... See, this time it had the proper slot highlighted. It's taking us to... What is... Even is this place? What? Okay. Okay, this is a door. With things inside. Come on. Like, the basic ones can break your... Like, that's not... That's not cool. Like... It's just a little bit too irritating. Oh. Did you break anything this time? Doesn't look like it. But there are more of you and haste is about to run out, so we've got to do that. And Serena's actually running low on spell points, so I think Roderick is going to be the one doing the... Excuse me? Like, why aren't you letting me open this door? Uh, is there a switch that I have to hit? I mean, I, that was the switch, but it said door. Which, I mean, I guess... Oh, this, this nonsense again? Really? Really? Really, dude? Really? <laughs> like, really? Okay. I guess at that angle we're able to shoot. Come on, man. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, are you serious, dude? Okay, okay. Another big gun. I think that means everyone has a big gun. Although really... Serena is the only one who matters right now because she is the one getting the uh, the absurdly high attack rate. Okay, what is on uh, this? Okay, that was the envir environmental alert. Now, I think... I mean, I know for a fact that there are things we haven't done. Let me just... Look through my... Uh... List of... So, these are the main quests that we've completed. And uh, there's one thing in particular that we haven't done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly grab my phone just give me a moment grab my phone and now that we have finished I don't want to waste too much time you're just running around now that we've I mean we've been done with this area for quite a while but Obviously, for the purposes of this playthrough, we want to not only kill all the enemies, as, you know, stated in my objective of wanting to 
clear each location at least once, but we also want to find all the special stuff. And I know for a fact that there are special things that we haven't found yet. So I believe this is technically a free haven location. So we're gonna have to look in the general free haven map to find the control center, I believe, right? Yeah, okay, so it is in the control center and... One thing that's important is that there are eight... Eight small blasters and four big blaster rifles. And have we found all of them? Well, we have four blasters. That much is a. Uh, that much is apparent. And do we have eight of these? One, Aha. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we found all of the blasters. There is one thing left. One thing left. Now, where is that one thing? Well. I think we need to go back into this room, maybe? Let me, let me... Confirm, yeah, okay. Yeah, we need to go back into this room over here. Because there's one thing that is possible to miss, even as I find entirely new, new parts of the map that I haven't been in. But I guess they aren't... They are just ways to connect areas that we've already been to. So there was nothing new actually in them. But we need to go in a general eastward direction. Uh, and go back to one particular room that we've already seen, but which I, it seems, did not fully explore. And I think we need to go this way. And we need to go down here. And, oh, I didn't even realize that was a door. Because it can be hard to tell in this area what is and isn't a door. Inside here uh, is, a uh, well, not a lot, just one chest. Inside this chest are a bunch of control cubes. And a proclamation scroll. Let's read it. Congratulations. I hereby proclaim you all super goobers. And you know what the great thing is? We scroll down uh, here. That has actually gone in our list of accomplishments for this game. We are all officially super goobers. Now, at this point, we are done with this dungeon, and uh, usually I would go off screen and run around and be like, let me test whether uh, this place is cleared out, but we've been through enough of it just going on screen that I can confirm that there are no enemies left, although keep finding oh oh look at this look at this there was one small part of the map that we hadn't been in so we are gonna quickly deal with this okay this is this is gonna get really old really fast oh, are you are you are you actually serious right now because there are two of these guys and both of them have this really annoying special ability so they were both triggering it. Oh, I remember, I went down this way, and then I found these guys, and then I loaded my game, and then I never went back here. That is why they were still alive. I was like, I'm pretty sure we've gone down this long passageway, but I guess I had forgotten to go back after loading my game. Now, there was stuff that was broken, I know. Pretty sure, yeah, okay, in the inventory, and that is it. And now, if I go through 
there should be nothing more in this corridor. And if this corridor is clear, then we can declare the control center clear. And indeed, the control center has been cleared. Now let's talk a little bit. I guess we're right at the exit. Let's talk a little bit about the lore for that location. We got some of it uh, from the Tomb of Varn, where I guess the Tomb of Varn was talking generally about the Oracle and this entire structure as a whole, where they were talking about not putting the control cube and the Oracle in the same place as a kind of uh, safety uh, mechanism in case one or both of them gets attacked or destroyed. And we had to bring the control cube back here because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get access to the, to the control center. And why did we need access to the control center? Well, it was to get access to a kind of weaponry that we hadn't seen yet, but which people in this game had alluded to. And these are ancient weapons. And we now are armed. We're, we're basically just, you know, we're, you know, gun-toting lunatics at this point. Let's not mince words. Especially Serena. But these are the weapons that we're told that we're gonna need in order to truly fight the enemy. The enemy being the Kriegans, who... And that is the actual term for the enemy type that we've, up to this point, been referring to as devils. So at some point, we are going to have to attack their... Uh, attack their base of operations. But before we can do that, we're gonna have to do something really odd. We're gonna have to obtain arcane magic from Archibald. Which is gonna be difficult because Archibald was turned to stone after he lost the uh, succession wars against uh, Roland when he tried to seize power. So that's we're gonna have to figure out what to do, what to do about that. But yeah, uh, a bit more about the control center. Obviously, they talked about the security units going rogue. I'm not entirely sure what caused that, if there's definitive proof somewhere in the game, because we didn't in any of the uh, like message uh, icons or like message uh, receptacles, whatever those things were that were set into the wall that were giving us bits of information. I don't think they told us exactly what happened in the control center. So something clearly went wrong, and if I find out what it is, like if there was a piece of information that I missed, I'll, I'll mention it at the start of the next video, but for now, all we can assume is that there was either an accident or a bit of sabotage maybe, and that's where it all went wrong for the people in there. And we are done with this part of the main quest. Next, it's hard to tell what exactly I want to do. I don't want to go into the next part of the main quest just yet, but what else is there left to do aside from the main quest? Well, there are three things. Number one, let's look at the, uh, the calendar. It's April right now. I do want to complete the rest of the pilgrimages, assuming we have enough training to do, which we might not, I'm not sure what our max level is, but if we have enough training to do, we could just do all of the pilgrimages in a single video by just advancing time and then every month going to the seer. That is one thing, but also we need to do some arena combat, and I'm leaning towards that as a, an objective for the next video. And I also have one video that I need to do where I cover all the secrets that I missed, or all the interesting little details that I didn't talk about 
in the you know initial video where it would have made sense to and it, like it, it didn't make sense because like it didn't make sense to do it afterwards because I'd moved on so all of those little things I'm gonna do one video I think I'll save that to be the second to last video giving myself more time to catch more things in case there's more I want to put into that so that I won't do for a while I think next video is gonna be I think arena combat one thing I want to do is Okay, you can't raise it to level 8. You don't have enough skill points. Everyone else does. One thing I do want to do is uh, I want to get Blaster up to the Master rank. Just because that is a new skill that everybody has gotten. And I think the trigger for getting this skill is finding your first Blaster Rifle or Blaster Pistol. One thing I want to do before I end off this video is... Uh, let's... I guess... Go to New Sarpagal and rest for one night. Hello, come on in. Enjoy your stay. Let's now go to Castle Iron Fist. And... Train... I was gonna say train Serena by one level, but let's give everyone one level and we'll get the last skill points that we need. And we're gonna take Blaster up to Master. Actually, you know, I think I uh, might have made a mistake. I think I might have made a mistake because I'm not sure if you need to put eight points into this. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load my game and uh, I'm gonna do this again and uh, I will put this video on pause while I do everything else uh, that I did. Alright, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Alright, so I killed those last enemies again. I made sure I had the proclamation scroll. So we are once again done with the control center and indeed, as I suspected, I think you only need four points. which we can give right away. And another thing we can do is we should be able to get Master Blaster right now. Can we assist you? That is what we are gonna do to end off this video. To get Master Blaster, first we're gonna need Expert Blaster or Ancient Weapon, which is uh, what the trainers will call it. Let's just, uh, it's, uh, something we can do against enemies outside as well as inside, which is fun, but let's not, let's not get too carried away because all we want to do is we want to go to Igor the teacher and for 2,000 gold a piece, well, he calls it ancient weapon, but when we click on it, it correctly identifies it as blaster. Yes. And he tells us that Rexella is somewhere in Paradise Valley. Now, who can take us to Paradise Valley? That is uh, going to be Zoltan. And somewhere in this town is uh, going to be the person we need. I'm going to save over that. And it's dark, but I think we're going to be fine. We just need to go to town. And... If the titans in the town bother us, we're just gonna... We're just gonna take them down... Like this? This is gonna be a... Uh, preview of what is gonna happen in the next video. Which I have decided is gonna be about... Arena combat. Alright. Good thing about being outdoors is that you will have... Fewer instances of things blocking your shots for no reason. The bad thing about being outside is that because it's so open, enemies can target you from pretty much any direction. 
and Titans can, of course, break our things, which is irritating, to be sure. I'll just kill them all before I bother repairing anything. Okay. Is this quicker than using a meteor shower? I would say yes. It's, it's a lot quicker. So, these guys are... Whoop. These guys are all dead, or enough of them that we don't have to worry about them. Good as new. And now let's Good as fix new. everything that was Fixed. broken. Good as new. Huh, it's I guess fixed. her shield broke, fixed. but I don't think we ever lost the, uh, it's fixed. the bonus. So I don't know what's... Giving. Maybe this artifact? I don't know. It's fixed. I'm gonna... This is something that I'm gonna look up. Because I'm not a, uh, not exactly sure what's causing it, but that Hi. possibly a glitch, possibly something intended. The How kind of you? infinite stream of lasers Closed. is gonna be our key to fighting Hi. enemies in the arena at high levels. All right, I'm go just How gonna. Walk around town because there aren't are that many houses in here. Now there's a Titan. Let's just take him down. Hello. And Hello, how are you? Master of Dark Magic, we've already Hello. spoken to you. Hello, how are you? Okay, come on. Where Hello, how is are this you? person? Am I gonna have to? Hello. Look this up. I'm gonna have to look this up. All right, just give me a moment. I'll pull it up on my phone. Okay, just one. Why are you, why are you taking me to Sweetwater? I'm gonna go to Paradise Valley. Um, so this person is on the eastern side of town, just below the training hall area so this should be them hello master of ancient weapons Roxella. something in, i guess uh, it's the light in her eyes but something something looks a bit off about her eyes and as i suspected yes. you only needed four skill points okay. so i didn't have to waste yes. more skill points okay. so i'm sorry about how disorganized the episode got at the end but I just wanted to make sure that I was not wasting skill points if I didn't have to. Now, with that done, we are finally done for this episode. When we come back, well, we are into another interesting phase of our main quest. But before we progress it, I want to do two things. I want to get all of my pilgrimages done, but to help me get my pilgrimages done, I'm gonna need to to be able to gain a lot of levels. You know, because each training session advances eight days at a time. And one way to make sure that uh, I gain a lot of levels is to do arena combat. And that is gonna be what the next video is about. In fact, I think I'll make it another tutorial-oriented video, not just doing a few arena combats, but explaining a bit more about how arena combat works, what best uh, approach, what the best approach is to get through it quickly, and my own personal uh, tactic for how to farm arena combat without losing too much reputation. So that's going to be the focus for the next episode. That's going to be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you for the next one. So, until then, take care.